welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. And also go check out my Instagram. I am currently doing a four looks, one palette, but I told you guys I was going to be jumping on here and doing some videos about base products. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be trying out the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the new dewy one and I've been so excited about it. So hot in here today. The lights, all of that kind of thing does not help, but I've been rearranging everything, so it is like, oh, I'm not even looking forward to putting foundation on. <laughs> so as you guys know, or maybe you know, um, Wet n Wild is very affordable. They remind me a lot of a brand like e.l.f., but a little bit pricier than e.l.f., but not that far off, and honestly, I feel like e.l.f. has raised their prices um, within the last like couple of years to where I feel like they're pretty neck and neck and they actually come out with some pretty decent products sometimes. Um, Wet n Wild, I honestly have never been like really let down. Um, I can't really say that I've tried a lot of their products either. I mainly have just tried like base products because I'm always intrigued about base products that are cheap. But a while ago, they came out with their Photo Focus Foundation. I have two here. I bought this one, I believe. Um, this is the shade Nude Ivory, and I used it. I did, I wanna say I did a whole video on it. Um, it's a good foundation, but it's going to come off rather um, semi-matte to matte, depending on how much powder you add to. Um, the applicator is a little strange. It's kind of like a little like paddle in a way that applies it, but for a drugstore foundation that is so affordable, I'm pulling it up right now how much these are. On Ulta, this one is $6.49. It is super affordable for a drugstore foundation, but what I was going to say is the coverage is pretty decent. Like, it's a pretty good coverage. Um, definitely can be built up I actually, with this one, since I have combo to dry skin, I actually like going a little bit lighter with it, but still, then I have good coverage. It may not hide all my freckles, but it does hide my blemishes. So I really do like that. So like I said, I bought this one and I used it for a while. The issue that I had with it was the fact that it didn't really match my skin that well, and it was the foundation, which you guys are used to me doing that. I usually have to drag it all the way down my neck because... I can never get like a certain undertone fair enough for me. I like neutral undertones to match my neck and almost every single foundation out there, their neutral tone is too dark for my skin. So yeah, I picked up this one and used it. Like I said, just the undertones of it just is not right. So then my sister tried it and she did not like it with her skin type. So she was like, do you want it? And when I got it, I said, you know, sure. And I assumed we were like the same shade. She actually picked up a different shade. She picked up Soft Ivory. And I actually love this one so much more than this shade. So yeah, I normally tend to go for this one now over the light or the nude ivory, but sometimes I will also mix them if I feel like I need to um because i still feel like the color is not perfect so when picking up this one i wanted to mention that the price is exactly the same what did i say i think like 6.49 yeah six dollars 49 so this one is again photo focus foundation but it's supposed to be dewy so it's not supposed to be like a semi matte we're gonna try it out today i got the shade porcelain I thought that the shades were different. I could be completely wrong, and I wonder if they actually did have my luck. They probably did have the other shade. Yes, they also have nude ivory and soft ivory. So this one's actually even paler than those two. So I don't know how well this is going to work for me. Please, if this does not match me, I get it. Please move on if that is the only thing that you want to comment. I love doing these videos and all that type of things, but here lately, I kid you not, everybody wants to comment on how I put my foundation on, and I am just a person who enjoys doing makeup. I struggle finding the perfect shade because 
no place wants to make a shade with neutral undertones that is light enough or the certain shade for me. Anyways, this is porcelain, the lightest shade, so that's what I'm going to be trying out today. And I actually already did prime my face. I apologize, usually I like to put my primer on in these videos, but this is the ColourPop All-Star Matte and Blur. With dewy foundations, I usually tend to go for more of like a matte or a matte, matte, a more matte uh, primer, just so that it kind of helps keep everything in place, because if I go too dewy, it's going to slide all over the place. But the good news with already having it on is it's had time to really sink into my skin while I did my eyeshadow. We're ready to jump right on in. I have my beauty blender I'll be using for one side, and then I have my Morphe E6 brush that I'll be using, flat brush, a flat foundation brush that I'll be using on the other side. Shake it up. One thing that I'm really wondering about, if you guys have tried Photo Focus at all, you guys know, this literally smells, this is probably so awful to put on your face, but it literally smells like paint. Like you just opened up a fresh can of paint in your room. I want to see if the dewy one smells like that. I don't think it does. Oh, I'm so stuffed up right now, so I can't tell. I'll have to smell it in a few days when I'm not so stuffed up, but I don't smell paint. And I mean, that paint smell in the other ones is strong. I'm actually going to open one of the other ones. Oh yeah, I can smell it. So I don't smell that paint smell, so that's nice. The paint smell does go away. Again, it's probably not great for your skin, but I'm just saying like, I don't smell it whatsoever with this one, even with application. So that's a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and apply this so I don't get streaky and then we'll see how it's looking. Okay, so I haven't really taken it down my neck or anything. I look so pale. Color-wise, it is a tad bit pale. I'm kind of wondering if it's gonna oxidize at all. I feel like if it oxidized some more, it would be like a closer match. Sometimes it's just really hard to tell in here with the beauty lights too. Usually to find like my best match is when I actually like go out to natural lighting and see how it's looking. I don't think it looks too terrible compared to some of my other ones when it comes to the undertone, so maybe porcelain has been the shade I was needing to look at a long time ago. Um, I feel like it kind of applied the same on both sides. I honestly think I got more coverage with the brush, but it looks a lot smoother on the side with the sponge, so I am just going to kind of pat over here. I definitely think you could build this up more. Right now, I think it's more of like a light to medium coverage. It does remind me a lot of the other one, but I don't know, it might be a little bit less coverage. Let me build up just a little bit more. It's the same applicator and I just don't like that applicator whatsoever. I feel like I'm always gonna spill it on my jeans or it's gonna like drip down onto my jeans. The finish I really like though. I think that's looking really pretty. It is just a nice dewy finish. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more, um, just to add it down my neck a little bit, or on my jawline, and then jump into some concealer and powder. For concealer, I'm gonna be using my Infallible Full Wear from L'Oreal, and I'm also in the shade Porcelain in this. And then for powder, I'm gonna be using the Extraordinary Translucent Powder from Ciate London. I just recently did a video on that powder if you would like to check it out. I'll link it above. Definitely gonna be doing a lot more like base makeup videos. Um, like I did my first year on YouTube, I was looking back at like some video ideas and I thought about doing like my top favorite foundations that I tried last year and I realized I literally only tried like five or six new foundations last year. Like how? insane is that like usually I try a whole lot more than that so I would like to up that this year so that next January I can do like some videos on favorite products or the best of 2019 when it comes to foundations I could I guess still do that with eyeshadow palettes but we are kind of out of January now so 
I was kind of like, oh, whatever. I can just do some first impressions on base products and start it early. Plus, I'll be having Valentine's makeup going up, so I'm not too worried about it. I feel like that powder makes me just look so smooth, though. All right, I'm going to take a powder brush and just lightly tap this around because I do feel like this is going to be one that I'm going to need to lightly sit with powder, otherwise, especially my T-zone. Otherwise, it's going to completely be off. And I will be doing a wear test, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup, film the rest of my eye look, all that stuff, set it with some setting spray, and then I'll show you guys how it's looking with all of my makeup on. And then it's a foundation first impression, so I will definitely be wearing this all day, and I'll check in with you guys tonight, let you guys know how it wore and what it looks like. But this is it, just applied. I do have a little bit of powder sitting there. This is it applied with a little bit of concealer just over a couple blemishes down here and just to brighten up the middle of my face and also underneath my eyes and then some powder. I went a little bit heavy with the powder under my eyes but the rest of my face was just lightly powdered. I think it's looking pretty good though. And I feel like once I have all my makeup on, it'll be a lot more dewier. All right, guys, I just finished up all my makeup. So this is how my foundation is looking. I feel like it's looking pretty good. I feel like it's gonna be a pretty dewy day. I don't think this one has as much coverage as the other one. It's been a while since I've worn that one because I have been going more dewy again with my foundations, but um, I don't know. I kind of remember having more coverage with that. I'm gonna have to try that one out again. But besides that though, I think it looks really pretty and I still feel like it gives me enough coverage that I'm happy with it and I would continue to use it. But I do wanna see like how it wears throughout the day, if it breaks down on me and stuff because it's already pretty dewy even after just applying my makeup and uh, just using some All Star Setting Spray from ColourPop on it. It's already looking pretty dewy. So we will see how it wears. I'm gonna go at least eight hours and then I'll check back in and show you guys how it's done, and I'll look in the mirror every once in a while throughout today and see how it's looking too. But yeah, I will see you guys later tonight. I wanted to do my check-in real quick. I wanted to say that it does oxidize a little bit. I did notice that between my uh, lower face and my neck. I did drag it down a little bit, but I could just kind of tell that there was a little bit of an oxidize going on. But Besides that, I think it's a really pretty foundation, but it breaks down extremely fast. And I have combo to dry skin. I feel like it's been more combo lately. I've been a little bit um, oilier in my T-zone, so that could have been why, too, it started breaking down there. Um, I My sinuses have been a little messed up, so I have been blowing my nose, so that is why, like... It might be wiped off my nose at this point, but I can honestly say like it was breaking down already around my nose too. So right now I really like from further off, I don't think it looks too bad, but like up close you can definitely see like it looks pretty rough at this point. I am coming up on maybe nine hours, nine, ten hours. So I've been wearing it for a really long time now and I can say even towards the eight hour mark, it was already pretty much breaking down. I've stayed busy most of today, like moving st moving some furniture around and organizing, decluttering, and that type of ordeal. So I've like stayed kind of hot all day. So that could be part of it too. But I feel like with this foundation, if you really want it to last, you're going to have to give a lot of powder to your look for sure. Um, I do feel like if I would have powdered maybe a little bit more heavier, I would have had a little bit of longer wear with it, but yeah. I don't know, I feel like this is a tricky one that I'm gonna have to keep playing with and see how it goes, because like I said, I've mainly just been doing stuff around the house, but I've stayed busy and on my feet like almost all day long, so I, I don't know if that's a lot of it, but for people out there that are working and are on your feet all the time and you're wanting a good dewy foundation, that is something to keep in mind. I felt like I didn't powder really heavy. Like I said, I powdered pretty good underneath my eyes. Underneath my eyes don't look too bad. Um, besides a little bit of mascara that has kind of flaked off at this point. 
Um, I kind of just lightly powdered the rest of my face, so I feel like if I would have went a little bit more heavier with the powder, like I said, it probably would have lasted longer. If you have super dry skin, I feel like this would be something better for you. So that's kind of my first impressions. Let me know if you've tried this and what you think of it and like what skin type you have. Everybody's going to be different and that's a hard thing. But I always try to leave in my tags that I'm combo to dry so that people with combo to dry might be able to find the video a little bit better um, because we might relate a little bit more. But yeah, I will definitely keep trying it out. I always do blogs and um, I just had this past Monday. Uh, as you guys are watching this, a Makeup Monday blog went up on the Dose of Colors Foundation. So I will make sure I do a blog post on the Wet n Wild one too for you guys after I've worn it several times so that I can kind of follow up and let you guys know how it wears um, and that type of ordeal. More of a review than just a first impressions for my first day. Because um, who knows, it might work better with Laura Mercier powder and you know... But so far, this wasn't a complete success. I feel like this is something that's nice just to throw on if I need to run out and do a couple errands because it's nice, it's light, it's dewy, um, and it's not too heavy. Like, it doesn't feel heavy or anything. So, yeah, I think it would be really nice for that. But, like, if I'm really wanting something to wear really nicely all day long, I don't know how the weather's going to be. That might not be my go-to pick, but the finish is beautiful. It does have coverage, not as much as the matte one that I can remember, but I'm so glad the paint smell is not there. <laughs> if you guys have any other questions, let me know down below, and as I try this, I'll let you guys know because I'll continue to keep using it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know if you've tried this, what products work best with it for you guys. Maybe I need to try that. But I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.